All right, if you're using Google Sheets, you may want to count certain text. So we're going to be counting the items in this range if they do not contain a certain word. So there's several different modifications on this depending on what you're trying to do. But the first example that we will do is that we will use the COUNTIF function. So we'll be using the COUNTIF function for all of these examples. But the first thing that the COUNTIF function wants is a range. So it's asking, what am I counting? In this case, it's, it's this range of cells. And what we want to do is we want to count it if it doesn't have the word sunny. So it's a little quirky here. You need to surround the word sunny in quotes, but you need to start the quotes before the operators. So we'll put the first quote here, then we will say less than, greater than. So that's our way of saying everything except. And then we'll just type out sunny. Doesn't matter if you have it capitalized or not capitalized. I'll change one of them now. This function doesn't care about that. And that's all we need for this first example. So we will close that off with the quotes and then close the function off with an ending parentheses. And we'll hit enter. I've already indicated with the green check marks what we're looking for. And none of these cells just contains the word sunny until you get to here. So four of them have met the condition. One hasn't, so you get a four. So we'll move on to the next example. Same basic principle, but in your spreadsheet, things aren't always that easy, right? So we'll try to cover enough examples that you can apply this in your work. And as we work through these, if you want your own copy of this template, just go to sheetshelp.com. The full URL is in the description of the video. You'll be able to grab a copy of this template from there in between what's on that website and these videos. You should be able to learn everything you need to know about Google Sheets. At least that's what we're trying to do. But let's get back into this. So in this example, we'll start out with the count if again, a similar range where it's uh, just these characters. But now we want to say uh, anything that doesn't end with the characters S-U-N. So this could be any characters. It could be parentheses A7, uh, whatever's in your spreadsheet. It doesn't have to actually be a word. It's just a string of characters. Uh, but we will start this out a similar way. So we will do the opening quote, less than, greater than. And now we'll put in a little twist, which is a wild card. You could do a question mark. That would be any one character, you know, or any three characters, depending on how many you put in. But in this case, we're going to do any number of other characters. So that's what an asterisk means. And then the word sun, we'll just do it all in lower case this time, just because it doesn't matter. And then nothing after it. So we will end it with the quote ending parentheses. And we count four in this case. And we're counting four because mostly Sunny has the word sun in it, but it doesn't end in that. Some sun does end. And we're no longer picking up Sunny because we're only looking for S-U-N at the end of the word. All right, and our last modifications, so hopefully amongst these three, you'll find the one that works for you. What we're going to do is we're going to count it if the word sun is anywhere in the cell, no matter where it occurs. So we will do a count if again and we will designate the range. And this is kind of a combination of the last two. So we'll start out with a quote again. We'll do our favorite less than, greater than, and we will say anything before. So that could be nothing. It could just start with the word sun. That would be fine too. The letters S-U-N and then anything after. Close that off with a quote and a parentheses, hit enter and you're only picking up these two, right? So the characters S-U-N do not occur here, but they are in these two cells, doesn't occur here, but it does occur here. If you're looking to count with multiple conditions, maybe it also needs to have another word in it. We're gonna look at using the count ifs function in this next video. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.